No, you can't. Yes. Dude. So we have just beaten Moreau and we are going towards Heisenberg's area. As I recall, we've done everything around here so far. Yeah, because I used the drawbridge. I went um, both ways and found like the secrets um, bit and done that. That's that's missing something. That was going up under there and um, coming back on there, going through there and getting the treasure. That's not about the case. Where's... So what treasures are we missing? Cannibals, plunder and treasure under the stronghold. So those are both in Heisenberg's area. It doesn't look like there's actually anything else that I've missed. I could be very, very wrong on that. I mean, there's there's these. There's these houses which got stuff in them, and that, that one I can't even get into anymore. I don't know why that's... That's that's a bit shitty. Unless I can get back into there, but I don't think I can. There's also that that's got a lockpick icon, but it's also a bastard to get to. Nah, screw it. Um, no, we don't need to get down there. We need to follow this one. But there's... Oh, it's a blockage in it. But isn't... Can't I go through there? Yes, I can. Through there. Through this door. Through here. Now I'm in this bit, and I just need to follow this way all the way down. A punch of the Mokins. You have one-shot game in the middle, middle of the screen. I have no idea what that signifies or what the game's about, but good, bad, I don't know. Right. Okay, so there's a lockpick thing in here. Watch it be shit. Watch it be shit. I had to make sure that yes, yes, I do actually have a lockpick. Uh, where is it? There? Here we go. Examine. Uh... Why am I carrying around five mines? Very sad game, I think. Bear. That wasn't entirely not worth it, but I wouldn't say it was entirely worth it either. Oh, that back there, the entire thing. So I've got no idea what's in these three houses. No idea. Um, I have, I did already check that because he did say um, something about the graveyard, but that's not it. Which means that that is where we're supposed to be going through, which, you know, he's put signs up for it. So, you know, Neil Newborn's helping us, sort of. I mean, he did say he wanted to offer us a helping hand, so, you know. 100 points left, this is a countdown. So I'm not going to encourage you to spend money, Jace, but you know what would make those points go faster? A sub. <laughs> and I don't mean Q. <laughs> Show must go on. See, I don't know if you know what's, in, what's through here. It's a drawbridge. What's on the other side of the drawbridge? Stardew NPCs worry me sometimes. One of them has asked me to bring the soda and I quote, dry for the winter. That's, like, I know about dry ciders. Dry ciders are really nice. What if I was allowed for current situation? Diesel must be on budget. Oh, yeah, that's... I will, I will never seriously ask anyone to sub to me. Never. I never have done. I never will. Even since I'm getting, getting fears. Like, if people want to donate to me, send me bits and sub to me, that is 100%. Up to them. I will never ask them to do that or say that they should. 
Just like I ne never have and never will do um, subscriber-only streams. I'm also thinking if that drawbridge comes down um, for the end um, ending. That's what usually is um, happening. This. Although, to be fair, didn't I open this? Oh, I opened this and I went across there in the um, original thing and that threw me into um, Castle Domitrusk. There's no way they're making a beer. This is basically Coca-Cola. I wouldn't put it past them. This is Stardew. The game where I'm, I am wholly, wholly certain you could combine soda and mayonnaise and it makes beer. Why? Because... Thick and fizzy. Good luck. That's ominous. Do you sad game past me? Which I had OBS at the time to record my first playthrough because I may have put you in tears. Jesus. That's explosive. As is that. Why? Also, I don't think this is the way I'm supposed to be going. I think I was supposed to go up the... Um... Um, up the dark thing. I think this is a bit on the optional side. But hey, that's it's content. It's content. I'm happy to play this game some more. Although, with with what I've seen from the Resident Evil 7 DLC, I'm not so keen to get the DLC for this because if I want DLC, if I'm going to get DLC for a game, oh, it's Otto, Otto's Mill. The fact that Otto's Mill has can, Cannibal's Plunder in it really, really concerns me. Um... But if I want DLC for a game, basically I'm getting it because I want more of the same game gameplay and game type. Resident Evil 7, and from the previous Resident Evils as well, as, as far as I can remember, changes up the gameplay something massive. I was like, ah, eh. I appreciate where you're going with this, but eh. If I'm dropping more money on a game, it's because I like the game as is. I think I can tell, you know, that Otto is definitely, you know, whoever owns this mill is definitely the cannibal in question. And that's all just to, to just support devs that bit extra. If it's an indie game, sure. If it's a big name like Capcom, nah. I'm not going to buy DLC just for Capcom. They can go fuck off. They make a good game, sure, I'll buy it, but I'm not giving them extra money. Or how they're treating their um, their customers. Oh, locked from the other side. Wow. Agreed. Just the indies. Yeah. Well, even saying that, it, it always depends. You know, if I have money at that point in time and um, actively thinking about it, because that's all the um, the DRG support packs are. Like the DLC fans are like, yeah, you get some customization, but mainly you support us some more, so and we appreciate it. It's like, I have no issue with that approach. I just never have the um I never have the um the funding when I'm actually looking at it. Especially their PC customers. Yeah. Yeah. The PC customers will be going, oh yeah, hey, um, so, uh, you know that DRM stuff that no one likes? Yeah, we're going to use that. That's a real great idea. Fucking wankers. And then, you know, there's, you know, being like, they're being shitty to their, their um, console customers as well. It's like, hey, you're not paying enough for games. Games could be much more expensive. Let's make them more expensive. I agree, but no need to scream at me. Ooh. 
Lovely. That's not human. That ribcage is not human. Those are. That is, that's human skeleton, but that is not. That is definitely cow or some large um, creature. Capcom say they want to get into the PC market big time. Wonder how that's looking for them right now. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. Oh, hi. Well, I just found the optional boss. That is, no, that's the wrong weapon. Shit. <laughs> Did him fucking hitless without even realizing. Ah, the wonders of casual mode. It's a lot of blood. That's done, thank you. I was signed to what? Why are there three? I was starting to wonder, is the reason the explosive barrel's outside of there? Because when I leave here, he'll you know, have risen up and attacked me again. But no, they, he disappeared. He melted. I am worried as to why there's one up here. And also the ones outside. Ooh, more grenades. It'll be a good idea to load one into my grenade launcher. I was actually very tempted to pull out the mangum. Almost said the man gum. Yes, yes, I'm going to shoot him with my man gum. I don't know how I would do that. I'm not even a man. It's one of those weird questions that we're all going to ponder over. So whether you find games worth playing on the hard difficulties, you should go medium and lower. That is entirely fair. Usually I would go on the hard difficulty settings if it's a game I already like and there's an um, achievement for it. I will definitely do that quite happily. Like um, Evil West. Evil West, I was happy to play on the hardest difficulty level twice. <laughs> A lot of meat. Mystery meat. On our space in my inventory. I mean, you say that. But I'm pretty sure I can make room in this. Close my inventory. Pretty sure I can make room. Can I rotate these things? Yes. Okay, easy then. Boom. Meat, poultry, meat. This isn't even the, the cannibal's treasure. There's just lots of meat in here. Herb.
Not enough space, my ass. Yes, there is space. Just got to play an extremely finicky game here. Hmm. No. Be trickier than I thought them. Hang on, fuck it. What am I not going to need? I'm not going to need this meat tenderizer. There we go. Poultry acquired. I'm at ice. Mm. Another post this orange cupcake, which I swear tastes more like lemon than orange. And yet it's still gross because I would actually, you know, like uh, lemon. Ah. What was that for, Ride? Or do you just want to tenderize me ass cheeks? Oh. Mm. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. You just wanted to tenderize me. Wing goes around and quote and gets beer golem. <laughs> ah. Oh look, it's me after I've had a few. Ah. I've also got one punishment snack left. Not one variety. That's what I started with. I I have exactly one um cake left. What's this? Bottle of Nicholas Angel. Ah, money. Gunpowder, shotgun ammo. Play. Okay. I ain't annoyed with that. Yeah, Jones, because I just got that many crystal skulls. <laughs> Thor, hello and welcome. I missed something in the middle. Let's go back. Slap that meat around a bit. Slappy, slappy, slappy. <laughs> oh, hey, look, the Red Dragon Games logo is actually on top of that one. Interesting when we find these things out. Okay, there's something in here. There's something in here that I haven't picked up. How the fuck I did so, did, you know, okay, to, um, I'm on observation duty, I have no fucking clue. July the 8th. Today's the day the Jolly Merchant stops by. He always gives me old newspapers. I know Miranda forbids them, but news of the outside world is always so fascinating. There's one thing that piqued my interest in the last one. It was an article about some medicine company. I don't remember the name, but the emblem looked familiar. Fucking umbrella. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Does Yana would love to have some um, 1911 so they're quicksilver bullets? Yeah. 
It was the same symbol on the giant's chalice. I'm pretty sure I saw the same one painted on the walls in the cave too. That radiating umbrella image really stands out. What's some outsider company emblem doing here? I wonder if it had anything to do with that man that stayed here all those years ago. Now nah, I'm overthinking it. Mmm. Who is fucking umbrella? I mean, to be fair, it's Resident Evil. The whole, you know, the whole brain thing is it's fucking umbrella. And or Wesker. It's umbrella and or Wesker. I also need to go and sell some shit because my inventory, as you see, is chocker. So back to Duke. I had no idea where that would lead. I imagine did that. But yeah, that's just from you. Just from the visual design of that, that's clearly the way you were supposed to go. And me looking at the map showed the path there, but all the foliage is like, yeah, you're not supposed to go that way. Or it's you know not for main story progression. I would love if Heisenberg was watching me. I was like, what the fuck is he doing? Holy shit, I'm actually navigating this place without um, using my map. As you wish. Hello, Dukey. Goes for fragment, three skulls. One giant's 30,000 lay. So between the killing the giant and getting the treasure, that's 52,000 lay just on those. I am going to just sell this meat and stuff because I don't really care about the um, the meals thing. Unless actually, well, let's let's abscond, abscond. I don't know. I've got way way too much. You know what? I'm gonna sell the flashbangs though. And the mines. Oh, you've brought in something special. I am special. Imagine this is a merger between investment, Ethan. Imagine a merger between Umbrella, Wayne Lutani, and Aperture Science. I can't see the Aperture Science part of that working all that well. I need one more fish and one more poultry for that. I need also two fish and one poultry for that. I've got enough. I've got enough meat for most of these. Nope. Nope. Can just sell all that. Sell all the meat. Sell all my meat. Dissatisfied? I believe this is a fair price. Do you mean dissatisfied? To hunger. Used to be alive. Not really much else I can buy. I've got 127,000. the fruits of your... Uh, I don't think I'm going to need that much first aid. I really don't think I'm going to need six first aid bottles. Wacky science vision to high what Wellington Tiny makes. That's true. I mean, Wellington Tiny also has like their somewhat facade as being legitimate because what they do is actually kind of legitimate as well as the morally questionable bollocks. And I see from um, chat and Discord that Lydia has had four hours of sleep. Apparently I stole the sleep from everyone today. <laughs> you know, my once a month actually having a decent night's sleep. Um, I think I can part with two first aid kits. Or first aid... Bottles? Juices? I don't know. Exploration. Well then, feel free to peruse. Hard times, Ethan? No, just really fucking A full inventory. Deal, if I say so myself. You just got caught in a book. That's fair. That does, that does not happen to me anymore. I mean, in fairness, I don't read anymore.
There we are, that looks somewhat more organized now. Yeah. Well, actually, make this even more organized. There we go. That looks nice. Now, you know what we can do to make this even more organized? Put that there. Put that there. We'll take you. That's pretty good to me. I'm so glad the crafting stuff doesn't actually fill my inventory as well, although I have a lot of chem fluid. Hey, more blow and welcome. I am going to mute that conversation for three hours because otherwise it's going to keep pinging and I'm going to keep thinking that uh, my attention is required when it's not. Oh well. Right, now to actually continue with the story. It's been less than an hour. It's fine. <laughs> we did actually, you know, did some meaningful... Um, uh, exploration and stuff. Point actually, how, what parts do I have of Rose? I know I have only one part left to get. I don't have them anymore because I've been putting them in the altar. I think I've got the head, the legs, and the arms, which means I'm missing the chest. Mr. Heisenberg has the baby chest. That's a very weird sentence out of context. Um, I heard noises. I'm hearing noises and I don't know where they're coming from and that is putting me on edge slightly. The Forbidden Woods! Oh, hi, Bloodborne area! Some Yarnamites come charging at me. I'm pulling out the fucking shotgun. That's even more Bloodborne-esque. This is a doll maker with a chest of spare parts for dolls. No, that was the second boss. I've already beaten the doll maker. <laughs> the, fact, the fact that you say that and there actually is a doll maker boss in this game. Oh, you. You over there, really? You're dead. You, you down there, really? Oh, you're dead. Oh, hey, you, you down there. You're dead. I don't know why I was wasting my sniper rifle ammo on them. Really don't. When I've got ample pistol ammo. And shotgun ammo. Yeah, hi, I see you. Uh, game, I know I've got I auto aim on, but really. I think one of them's close by, I just can't see it. Herb just growing out of the tree randomly.
Six bullets to kill one of those things. Six handgun bullets. I don't mind. I've got lots of handgun bullets. Right, see, this is what I like. This is what I like with this game versus the other Resident Evils. They give you enough ammo. It doesn't feel like you've got to choose who you do and don't to get engage. Oh no. It's a boomy. I mean, that might just be a thing of casual difficulty, but if it is, I like casual difficulty. And I really want there to be an option to do that in Resident Evil 7. That being there worries me slightly. Also, there is a treasure here, but I get the feeling that it's not going to be here. Especially seeing as it's called treasure under the stronghold. Yes. No. I was thinking maybe that would actually... um blow open a passage, but no. No, today is the day that nothing gets blown, us, um, sadly. Tee hee. If a certain trio shows up, I'll laugh. Oh, no. Oh. Tony's showing up. Where did you all come from? Seriously, my dudes. I did, but that felt like I shot it out of the air. It looks a trophy for doing that. Shooting arrow out of the air. Good thing I'm not going for platinum on this. Well, I think I know what's going to be attacking here. More bastards. Even... I don't know why, but my brain said, hey, that's a bottle. Then another part of my said, brain said, no, that's a barrel. So I got the combination of the two words fighting for um, emergence from my mouth. Got borrel. I wish this game had a jump um, button. Oh, I'm actually supposed to... Oh, I'm supposed to be up here. Oh, okay. No, that's really not what I'm aiming at, game. Well, it will be now. I didn't realise that counted. I didn't realise that counted as an attack. Get 
Can you imagine trying to do this on knife only? You haven't run past a fuckload of stuff. Oh, I think I've, I think I've sussed out what's happening here. I don't think they're going to stop spawning until I get to that little bit. I don't think they're going to stop spawning. Don't know why it's you know wanting me to shoot their um, shins. Don't know why. Just seems to be happening. I didn't realize this gun was made by Tora. Oh, hey, look, magically they've stopped. Look at that. The Shinomatic 5000. <laughs> Love it. Stronghold. I'm going to quickly check on treasure under the stronghold. I think it's going to be the thing, you know, it's on your way back, but I want to be doubly sure. When exiting the stronghold, right, yeah. The notifications. Yeah, it is. It's when you're done with this area, you're on your way, um, when you're out, you can grab it. Not what I was expecting. I was expecting to get to fall through that time grating. Ominous. It's the ominousy. <laughs> oh, hey, wait, what? Oh. Well. Why do I get the feeling I'm going to be chased up this? And when I say chased, I mean, like, you know, it's flooding or something like that. I wouldn't be, it wouldn't be doing that, that's more of a platform game mechanic. But I also want to put it past this. The fact that I can hear things this is must mild. be dead. Oh shit, Sherlock. So much for the stealthy approach. Oh, Tor, hello and welcome. Wait, did you already, did you already mess it? I don't know. Yes, you did. You smacked. We're just saying this game um, is um, clearly made by you because it goes to shins. Oh my fucking god. Bear with me a second. I've got to go and close the door because there's loud shit going on outside.
And when I say outside, I mean directly outside the window. Or the balcony. It's still stealth when there are no witnesses. I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Silly dragon, I'm a very silly dragon. Lydia, hello and welcome. Ah, yes, the impossible trio. Blood, ch gin, closed. <laughs> um, oh, by the way, Lydia, what are you thinking for Mod Team Madness today? Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Jesus! That wasn't very fair. It's only the hand. Oh my god! This is just going to be the same thing, isn't it? It's going to be... Jeez! Oh, for fuck's sake! Okay, that's just getting annoying now. Nice right, so. up. I made shots. <laughs> oh, thank you, Animal Hydrate Reminder. Yeah. Um, yeah, give me two seconds. again it's just gonna keep spawning things i just need to book it Ooh. boomies as soon as i get my eye probably i should keep making it look like i'm crying Ooh, not good i just see with a dodgy eye today Is this the price of me having a good night's sleep? Everyone around me has, you know, either shitty sleep or something, um, uh, having an issue. Is that is the trade-off? I don't want it. Okay, big guy. Alright, okay. We got a big one? We got a big one. Here's the anti biginator Um... We get the anti biginator out again. Anti biginator. Oh god. I'm almost out of um, handgun ammo. Your shins are forfeit. Your side yesterday during stream. Oh gods. They get resolved quickly. Well, at least I got all the stuff that was here. 
You'll say yes, they two while watching a movie. Well, that was one way to get me from you know, saying I've got you know more than enough ammo for everything to go into. Ha ha! Shit, I've got nothing. Ooh, magnum ammo. Brain, no, not Magnum Arlo. Not again. We're not going through this again. We're not going through Magnum Arlo being shot out of a gun again. Not again. We also shot. Jesus. It's good. It's fine. At least I'm not doing Power Wash Simulator. If I was doing Power Wash Simulator, I'd be you know going on about box about Haunt's texture again. Ah, uh, but no, I've finished that. How about Circus Can then? I can see that with Magnum Arlo. I can see that with Magnum Arlo being fired out of a Circus Cannon. Really good. Oh, that's uncomfortably close. And my head is going to be... Yeah, my head went through the... Oh, wow. I appreciate you wanting this to be very claustrophobic. Cap... Tom. That's Jesse. But at the same time... Oh, that's not good. It's very obvious that the back of the camera is clipping through that brickwork on that side. Well, thanks. The one first aid med I get given afterwards. The King's Order's finally arrived. Withdraw. It is most vexing that we must abandon the border stronghold to those heretics. If I had but a little more time, I know I might be able to turn the tide to this battle. Nay, I should not put on airs. It is my curiosity that ties me to this place. There are a number of ruins in the vicinity, which the locals say are very ancient. The ceremony site with four great giant statues, the caves with the murals put on the walls, the stone plinth they call the Giant's Chalice. Where did the people who built them come from? Where did they go? Where did they come from, Cotton Eye Joe? It looks to me we must abandon this place without knowing. I am worried about what we're going to encounter. Because save point and being rearmed. Why do I have near three spare clips of sniper rifle ammo? Why has everything gone very, very deathly quiet? Oh, no. Boss fighter extended fights, I'm guessing, in an arena like this. And, you know, see, I can see resupply box there. Give me two seconds. We're going to get a quick bathroom break. Jim. Thanks, stream elements. That was only eight minutes ago. Fucking useless.
Ah, uh, return. Sorry about that. We've had gym, blood, and clothes. We haven't yet had fishy mortis. I mean, those are all completely different things. I mean, gym, blood, and clothes all come from the same thing, at least. Fishy and mortis have got nothing to do with the rest of it. It gets better quickly, and now we have fish and resistance. Hmm. Hmm. Yo, it's time. Hey, Jace, congratulations on redeeming the surprise. Congratulations on getting 100,000 points and spending it all on Smile Girl Sky and like that, so... Enjoy. <laughs> oh my god. Wigan goes for a random quote and gets naughty shuck do 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 do. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Maybe I'm glad you enjoyed. <laughs> oh, the horror on Ride's face. You're on next round. Going to make you call me your precious clothes. Oh, there's the punishment snack. Oh, well, what do you know? That's the last punishment snack. Ah. Any other sharks on going on in my ear? So, one of my siblings, Sharky, who's also um, the admin for my Discord server, I have relentlessly annoyed them with variations on the shark song since it became popular several years ago. Because I found out that if you get the cadence right, you can put pretty much anything to that song. And Wigman wants a Kippus Yeetus. I haven't had to do a Kippus Yeetus on this screen for a little while. Do I still have the asset? I do. But it's not there. And give me two seconds. Jesus, that's a big Kipper. So you got Kipper. We are being represented by the Ace Kipper, but it's the only Kipper I have to hand. You know what, Kipper, this has nothing to do with what you represent, but fuck off. Yeet! There you go. Kipper has been yeeted. Hilariously, that, those Pokeballs are now going to the Red Dragon Games logo. Sharks in trade and trade. Yep, that's what they refer to themselves as. And da -da. such as pretty much anything with two syllables before the word shark. Or to be fair, just just three syllables. And you know, have the end of the third syllable, you know, heights heightened slightly. So you can get, you know, naughty shark, um, sleepy shark, horny shark. The possibilities are endless. I think I even did at one point. And it went, shit your pants do 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 shit your pants do 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 shit your pants do 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 shit your pants. Oh. Mm. 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 Oh. You don't want to go to pet city. <laughs> you don't want to go to pet city. You want to see me get the shit skid out of me instead, Ice. <laughs> Malky's shark do 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 do. Malky's shark do 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 do. Malky's shark do do do. Malky's shark. Yeah. I'm going to laugh if I, if I get DMCA'd for that. I'm probably not going to, but I'm going to laugh if this video gets muted for that. Yeah, no. It's one of those things like, you know, everyone seems to get so bothered by it, but it just really doesn't bother me, so I, so I troll people with it. Especially Sharky. Yeah, called it. 
Yeah, I've listened to it on. Oh, what the shit are you? Apart from a bastard. You know what? I think now is actually the time. Bring out the wolf Spain. Oh, hi, Jesus. That's a big old clonger. <laughs> oh god oh also saw that you got thick udon news are, are they as thick as your thighs true glam energy just got my name can't be shortened to two syllables no, but I could do lids a shark do 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 lids a shark do 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 lids a shark do 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 lids a shark Or even better lids a fruit do 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 lids a fruit do 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 lids a fruit do 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 lids a fruit So that's he this happy I'm just next for caffeine And also um Four magnum rounds All Magnum rounds. That was barely a boss fight. Oh, for fuck's sake. I opened up the balcony door because I thought they were finished. No, I'm going to have to. We're going to have to close it again. Back in a second. Okay, back. Uh, it's because they're getting ready to paint the exterior of the building. So it's basically a crane lift being uh, moved around. There. Didn't know Father Gascoigne was in this game. <laughs> oh yeah, Father Gascoigne, but he's using the Kirk hammer. Not quite that thick. Oh well, I'll make do with your thighs and settled. Okay, so what did he have on him? Crystal Hammer. That's a big one. Well, I completely trivialize that boss fight. <laughs> this is why whenever they give me something like the Magnum, I very much hold on to the ammo for it. For special occasions. It's like me with the BFG in Doom. Oh, look at all the stuff they were hoping I would use. Anything else? Uh, I've just uh, first aid, but they're just giving me a first aid med. Oh, that's everything. And uh... well, this is kind of nice. It's more like big fucking gun, but I can think of his big friendly giant. Yeah, yeah, it is big fucking gun. Like it was confirmed in the first Doom movie that it stands for big fucking gun. I don't care what people say, I love that movie. I still do. You know, it's helped by the fact that it's Carl Urban. Carl Urban's just awesome. And Carl Urban and The Rock. I don't know if there's a Doom movie to watch this. It's actually two. I haven't seen the second one. 
But a lot of people um, have um, said that the Doom, the second Doom movie is absolutely awful. Doom Armageddon or something like that, I think it's called. But yeah, the Doom movie is it's pretty old by today's standards, but it's good. It was made in the um, in the advent of Doom Three, and keeps a lot more of the themes from Doom Three. Like, like it actually tries to be a horror film, but they also have a decent amount of. Oh, yeah, 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 sure. Oh, there's Mother Miranda, I'm guessing. Oh, that's spooky. What? what? You're the real deal, Ethan. Well done. Quit Neil Newborn. I'm not letting you get out of this. <laughs> cool your jets. Just a little bit more, and you're all wrapped up. I'll lend you a hand. So in exchange... In exchange what? First of all, come to me. Put all the flasks in the altar, and I'm sure you'll figure the rest out. See you, Ethan. God damn it. This is a good movie, but I can't call it a proper Doom movie. Do love when Sarge finds the BFG in the music track for that guy. It's great. Yeah, it's a really good... I think it's a really good film. And like... For them trying to basically emulate Doom 3 in film sense, it does a good job. Like, if it's if they were trying to go for Doom 1 or 2, then they massively failed. But Doom 3 actually works. But yeah, also, a um, nice little hidden detail is the code for getting into the BFG room is IDKFA. Talking old films, one guess what was on TV yesterday? Me. Seen one scene from Doom and it's pretty good. If it's the first person shoot, first person shooter part, that is why they regard it as being the best um, part of the film. Um, it's very, very, very good. Very good. I think he sounds like a Saturn accent. Word. It's him. It's the same guy. It is. That's Neil Newborn. It's the same VA. Beat them. The OG Ghostbusters. Nice. I love that film. Seen Doom 3, I liked it. Seen the other Doom and only one bit of that movie was okay, but no. Yeah. But yeah, like this is this is one of the things that Neil Newborn did before he did um, Balls Gate 3. You really keep track of VAs. Um, what else has Neil Newborn done? He's also in Detroit Become Human as both Gavin Reed and Kamsky. Like, those are like... The biggest ones that he's done recently that I can think of, at least. Let me step on a church in my town. Brain why now? Can I picture Doom Guy as a Starion? Nah, Doom Guy would be Karlak. Or Lazelle. Stay puff marshmallow. <laughs> it's like empty your thoughts. No one think of anything. Choice is made. What? I wasn't thinking anything. Were you? No. Were you? No. Ray, what did you do? I, I, I couldn't help myself. What did you think of Ray? It just the first thing that came to mind. It seemed so innocent, and I, I couldn't see how it'd be twisted. It's the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. <laughs> I love that movie. I really do. I haven't played that game. The only voice I call from Detroit is Clancy Brown. Yeah, I mean, that's... Oh, God. Who's that? That's another very famous VA. Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. I just... I love um, the original two Ghostbusters games so much. Oh! That plate. That plate was the treasure. Oh. He didn't think of Kirby. That's very true. And it, oh, it makes me feel so old whenever I um, make references like, there is no something, there is only Zool. Brian as Connor, yeah. Oddly enough, I haven't actually seen or heard him in anything else apart from Detroit Become Human. Well, at least not knowingly. Which is a bit of a shame, because, you know, he's a really lovely person and also a really, really, really talented actor. Why? I said disembark. Why did you make me disembark from the left side? Why couldn't I disembark from like What the bollocks? 
Brian's a goddamn sweetheart. Yeah, like I saw that um, that clip of the stream that you showed me, Lid, with um, Brian, his wife, and Neil. That was that was just adorable. We hear Zul, my brain defaults to Zul, motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know why, but when um, like when Lydia was doing the um, uh, rebirth and was, you know Zach was on there, all my brain could think of was there is no Zach, there is only Zool. No, not even any reason why. Just you know that's what came to mind. Oh, to a phantom fish! I know, I've killed it. That's why I have the finest fish meat or the hand before I sold it. Keto implantation notes. Subject 174 to 181. Subject 184, Mihai M. Characteristics 21, male silversmith, scars from pneumonia. Results of the activity, Kado failed to grow. Body transformation, dropping cognition, another lichen sent to pasture. Oh, God. Zach's presence still confuses the fuck out of me. Me too. I know why he's there, and it still confuses me. Like, the what they did, and what I've read they've done, is like, why? Why would you do that? It makes no sense. The only thing I can think of is that he got really, really popular in, um, you know, thanks to Crisis Core, and they thought, hey, look, let's, you know, make him in this, even though it doesn't make any sense. Ah. Uh. Ruby, hello and welcome. You got a new game. Nice. Subject 177. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, didn't. Planet B. Characteristics 21. Female, no occupation, no history of illness. Results, death. Subject 181, Alcina D, characteristics, female, 44 female, noble descendant, not from the blood, not from the hereditary blood disease. Results, very high affinity, no loss of cognition, arbitrary able to control body transformation. Applied cognition control procedure, sent for observation. Oh. Balls gate three, nice. A mountain of skulls in the castle of pain. I sat on the throne of blood. What was will be. What is will will be no more. Now is the season of evil. Because Capathan was no Zorb. I did like his law. Yeah. Launch okay seems struggle on some systems. Only if you don't have a good enough computer. I mean, if your PC isn't good enough, or like, you know, it's... You don't have SSD, then yeah, you'll have issues. I don't remember the quick spin around button. Just don't mod it, yeah. Yeah, until, until they finish dealing with um, official mod support, don't use mods. Because it can and will break the game irrevocably, especially when there's an update. One of the most common issues you've heard is the audio messing up. I've never had that problem or seen someone who's had that problem either. Also, there's different issues for different systems. Well, cool that one. Well, well, here we go. I think we're on the way to the end of the game. One can almost think they accidentally added an anti-mod feature to Pause Gate 3. I, they, they would not have done that. They really would not. Had a siren's eyes glitch out once I rolled to the back of his head. Jesus. But yeah, they really don't mind mods. They actually, you know, um, you know they, they are rolling out official mod support, and that literally is. We're going to make the game work so it, you know, any of the, um, any of it will work. It's, it's the quote. The quote. To see you return alive. So the quotation makes it thing you're, you're saying I like, go oh, accidentally, but no, it was actually really on purpose. 
Add large crystal, Viviante, Lord of Quartz, 15 crystal skulls, one perfect crystal skull, a crystal hammer, Glimo's plate, 9,000. Now this is something to splurge on. This is all an investment, Ethan. You say that, but you've got nothing I can buy or increase or upgrade. What? Do Let me know if you find anything else of value. No intention then. I mean, you know, just just so you accidentally would work. Well, I take that damage. Okay, I'm just gonna use one of my first aid meds then. Oh, must have been when um, that uh, that boss jumped down. Also, flask. In it goes. Stop. Hammer time. Do 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 do. Hammer time. Hey chat, what's the similarity between an evil ruler and a potato shaped like a penis? Dictator. <laughs> need new monitors, Sam. I've currently got both monitors mounted on a dual arm. The left one is as tight as it can go, but it's not saying the angle I need it to be at. Yeah, I had the issue with them. Um, with my setup back in um, the UK, I had a monitor arm on uh, my thing and it just did not keep things as they needed to be. Hence why I like the desk that I have and the fact that I can fit four monitors on it. It's only three at the moment, but yeah. My god, Mount. <laughs> so that's going back to... It's going back to the ceremony site. Something's happening. And I've got the Giant's Challenge, which I can put on there. But yeah, look, I'm so glad they actually you know, brought to it into a lore document that that's the fucking umbrella symbol. Oh, hello and welcome. Can you pop up a mason jar and a roll duct tape? If it works. If it works, it works. I mean, I've got a bottle of hand sanitizer seeking it against one of my monitors. Oh, phew. Um, to make sure it's, you know, setting up the proper angle. If it is, then it's slightly touching the bottle. If it's not, then it's, you know, pushed the bottle over or it's, you know, moved away from touching it. No Gary Cream? No, that's back in England, sadly. I need to... I need to get a, um... A replacement, because all I've got now is I've got Bitter Apple Spray, which kind of works. Um, I've got Bengay, I've got Icy Hot, and I've got Hand Sanitizer. Oh, I've got a squirt bottle. Rogers for random quote and guess. Look at those th Look at those fucking thighs. Look at those fucking thighs. I have no idea where that's from, but I approve. What's going on? I say similar whenever I see Lydia's thighs. Well, something going down at the um at the ceremony sites. I think I'm going to need my map. You know what? You know what? Shortcut. Yeah, got sprayed. Oh, and congratulations that you're on the um, redeeming not first. You are definitely the first thigh. I'll see you dinner. See you later. No problem at all. And more. Thanks for coming as long as you did. I'll see you later. Have a good dinner. Why do I feel like I'm about to um, uh, initiate a final boss fight against Heisenberg? Giant's Chalice. Giant's Stone Chalice that fits in, into a pedestal. There's room for four flasks. I'm sorry, Ethan is just carrying this around with him like it's nothing. Mm. I think I might have just been tricked into you know, doing what they wanted the entire time. I have no idea where that is. As the norm for these games. Yeah, you're not wrong. I 
nice umbrella logo. And now it's Fide Heisenberg. I don't wanna. Trap? Nah. Don't worry about the kid, Ethan. It'll be fine. Ha! Just get your ass across the bridge. Cage for God, I had another Velociraptor plush, and he's like, Oh, God, you're going to have a whole pack. I'm going to wake up, and Blue is going to be at my feet, and I'm going to wonder where the rest are hiding. Ah, yes. This is exactly what needs to happen. The heartbeat. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of worrying. Oh, and this is where we got shown that um, Heisenberg's thing actually was. Okay. Oh, guess what I got to say? Um, another vegetable plush. You get the sassy sweet potato. The criminal cauliflower. The benevolent broad bean. The mysterious monge too. The conspiratorial carrot. Almost. The pervacious pickle. The blueberry burglar. <laughs> wow. The raving raspberry. You got the bossy banana. A banan! Bonky choy. Ah! Ethan Winter. Bananas and pajamas. A banan. I didn't think you'd make it past Donner and Moreau, but I suppose you survived worse back in America, hmm? I like you. I'd like to speak to you about Rose and Miranda. Oh, come on in. Don't worry. It's not a trap. How dare you have such a handsome voice. Not oh, evil sprout. And says, Wiggins has a bok choy plush. Oh. It's actually, I think it's actually supposed to be um, type so I'm C H O I. That's which literally only a starion. I know, right? A starion, but with you know, somewhat of a deeper um, uh, voice. Okay, I can't go through there. Also, I'm prepared for the final bite because I can just go hi. I have the I have the hand of deletion. Cowboy Starion? No. Heisenberg's factory. Well, this can't go wrong at all. Not in the least. It also, with all these wreckages and long grass, I'm sitting out front of it. It looks like the average home in Alabama. No clothes in um, boys to make them cowboys. That's true. Staring post puberty. It's, what? That's implying that he's prepubescent in Baldur's Gate 3, so uh yeah, no. I do not trust this. So you want he's stuck at forty nine. She's young for elves, that's a stroke. Yeah, you know, elves are um, soft spoken anyway, in general. Scrap. Thirty-nine. I have no idea. I don't. I don't know what his age is. All. All I know is that he exists. 
and I am... You will be happy that I promise I am not going to stay, stake him, or even attempt to. If he leaves because of what I'm doing around the story, then that's hit on him. But I'm not going to you know, purposely try and get rid of him. Just whatever happens, happens. I've always been a vampire for 200 years. Oh yeah, that bit I know, because I remember that being that coming up during uh, one of the streams. Also, you have Pocky. Ooh. I'll refrain from asking to share, because I'm not a Pocky person. Because it's chocolate. <laughs> oh, this is a room. Chem fluid? Sure. Cool. Cool, cool. Wish Neil would be a guest in Critical Role. That would be amazing. It wasn't enough that we just had, you know, the one-off of uh, the cast playing um, D&D. &D. Looks okay, the cookie sticks, right? Yeah. So we could cream some matcha. The matcha one I'd be um, interested in seeing. Uh-oh. This ain't good. What the hell? Mia? Truth hurts, don't you? Hi, Heisenberg. Let me guess. You're thinking, take me out like the others, and then he gets to go and save Rose, right? I'm healing my daughter. Look, you, you got this all wrong. Demento. Shut your fucking hole! <laughs> Sorry, I love that. Take a seat. I don't want to take a seat right in front of the open hole you've just Listen, created, my dude. Ethan, you're you're gonna kick me down it. What are you talking about? You think this is a game? I said shit! <sighs> Lady, supersized. <laughs> Ugly, a psycho doll. An amoronic freak. Don't you get it? It's a test. To see if you're strong enough to be a part of Miranda's family. I don't want to. So he's be pulling a part up patches. Neither did I, but here we are. And I'm next in line, oh, right? Kill me, move up the chain. Well, fuck that! I don't give a damn about your personal issues. I just want to fix my daughter. <laughs> So do I. Do you have any idea how powerful a kid is? Even Miranda's scared of her. Last time, you freak! I swear to God! I don't want that. You and me, then. Together, we can go save Rose, and then we can use her to grind Miranda into paste. My oh. daughter. Is not a weapon. Fuck's sake, fuck Ethan. You. Oh, God, Ethan. Grow the fuck up. <laughs> Last chance. You don't want to find out what's in that hole. I'll take my chances. You're a few. Got it. <laughs> What the shit is that? It's got a propeller on its face. Damn. Okay. He's been dumbass. Yeah, yeah, just a bit. Shit. A dead end. No, it's not. Damn it. What the fuck? It's got a propeller for its head. Propeller head. You've heard of pyramid heads, now you get a propeller head. What a well placed platform. 
What was that thing? I don't know, but at least we've all got a lot of things. This really reminds me of the beginning of the Evil Within. Only it's better. It's like planned. Yeah. <gasps> funny that. Funny how game design works like that. So game design is telling me that's the way to go. Propel her Ethan, we just discussed this, try and keep up. <laughs> I mean, all honesty, for being in a junk pile, I think there'd be a lot more rusted scrap than I've actually gotten. <gasps> Metal scrap, but it's solid snake. Metal scrap. Ah. Uh. It's like three dies. Nice. Expecting a boot to the face there. Yeah. I'm kind of glad they didn't. But yeah, expected. Boot to the head. Out of time. I don't know. I do have Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain. But I'm also, I don't, I don't, I don't like... Metal Gear Solid Past 3, mostly because they got rid of David Hayter. More for Jenny the Wimp. Then. This place is messed up. I've got to get upstairs. I bequeath boot to the head. Boot. In the words of your character for Monster Hunter Ride Rides, Rise Ride, come fuck me yourself, you coward. Oh, hi, Duke. Welcome. When goes for a random quote, it gets it's like being deep Please by Satan and pegged by Lilith. Stock. Twinkie, I'm guessing, at that side of thing. I've got new, new stock. Uh, nothing new, but I do have 277 lay. I will take that. Congratulations. With this, you'll not worry about missing anything. Another new shotgun. Game I've only recently gotten this one and an automatic pistol. No, I don't, I don't, I, I don't. I don't want that over the M1911. Um, I, I don't want it. You do claw wiggles. So, I use pistols for accuracy. Automatic machine pistols lose the accuracy and they become worthless to me. Look, Psycho and uh, Scorpion. I do like, I do like the Psycho from um, Metro. Uh, fine, fine, I'll buy that. I'll buy that as well. Equip it. Increases ammo capacity from five 
627. You read shotgun is shoe gun. Shoe gun. Do you have enough firepower? I can now offer an expanded weapon modification service. And we're still not at the maximum. That's interesting. Where's that shotgun that I've now classed? That's the one. Boop. Spell. Don't worry not. You can buy it back if you like. Mm, can buy that back, but I don't wanna. There's nothing else in here that I want. Oh, it, oh yeah, it redeems my um things. Yeah, but I don't want that, so that's fine. I'm Gun Smithy on the hand. Sorts of weapons modifications, and we'll do them for a small fee. That is some really, really powerful chunky stuff. 190. These hands are more dexterous than one might think. Not enough. I don't have enough for any of the upgrades that I want. Yeah. I've gone from having shitloads of money to none. No trade yourself? Nah, I've done that. Shotgun, shotgun, that'd be a great bullet hell game name. Yeah, probably. Do a media share later? Have a quick look at it now. Ah. Yeah, I don't know why. I just... I don't know, but I'm just not a fan of machine pistols. Duke with all respect never say to my presence again. <laughs> Sell these, I don't really use them. Little and often fills the purse, as they say. Which hasn't really given me all that much. This is all an investment. Have a wonderful adventure. I thought he was actually pulling something out to give me an extra special gift, but no. Um, can this... No, oh, this can. This can move. You could make a fantastic pillar to on. He would. And he, would, he could read you a story as well. Send you to sleep. B4 materials. B5 is disposal. B3 is manufacturing. B1 is storage. B2 is electrical. F1 is garage entrance. Right. The only multiplayer in a game that I really like is the one in Helldivers 2. Oh, machine pistol, sorry. That's fair. Don't worry, it's one of those things whenever I see MP in my brain immediately defaults to saying it's it means multiplayer. Same with the O. Animal Crossing New Horizons always goes into my mind. It's an Assassin's Creed game because AC. Gaming brain, yeah. Come powder. Some kind of locking mission looks easy to break. But it doesn't let me break it because it won't actually. It does. Oh, because I need to actually equip my new shotgun. Need to shortcut it, not equip it. And now, uh, you know what? I'm going to bring that out. I wouldn't call that semi-auto. I would not call that semi-auto. Because that was not firing as fast as I can pull the trigger. Also, I didn't notice that much of an increase in power, so I think I might have wasted my money on it. Oh well. Just have mostly faster reload. Yeah, which and I feels like a bit of a it feels like a bit of a waste. It's got more upgrade potential, but that's it. To be fair, I could have used that money actually on better upgrades for my current guns to make them better.
Well, it closes on that body. Holy crystal skull. That's a new one. I'm looting through a door. Looting right through a closed door. Like something can fix in the depression. That's how I view pizza. Looks like this could fit in a depression, namely mine. What the shit? Creepy. It's a casting machine, can't use it without a mold. Okay. On the other side. Blood. It's all metal heads. Oh, he's a bit off. Not feeling up to um, uh, mod team matters. Okay, no problem, lid. Are you feeling up to streaming at all, or uh, is you just want you know fancying a non-co-op game? Enough power. All right. Seems like hello, and welcome. Resident Evil. Someone took that one scene from Silent Hill movie and made it into a level. <laughs> I don't like that. So I found the mold for the machine. Get rest, so you gave yourself and um, finally ram. Nice. Oh, yeah, it's a light coming. I grimby bastard. I'll surprise me anymore, he says, just before it blows up. Was forty thousand gold to adopt another pet? Jesus Christ, are you? I suppose the they're probably going off the basis of like, hey, we know people have cracked huge numbers of ways to make um, more money, so hey, here's something to spend all that money on. You went 1.5 million gold out of the update. He has since made it then by up. Jesus. We just want to cast on dog year one. And I know exactly why. I have a haunts relief. <laughs> Seems useful. I'm going to just quickly put that as the name of the stream tag. Like that. Haunts relief. Relief.
I need the horse key. I have the haunts relief, and now I need the haunts key. What's actually in there? Big box. A lot of junk in that trunk. Oh, Heisen's... That's specifically Heisenberg's key. Right, okay. Oh, no, this is going to be good. You have cows now. Ooh. But are they interrupting cows? One was also named Killard, so maybe. Oh my god. You may be wondering to yourself, you know, what makes an interrupting cow so special? Well, that's simple moon! Ben the Orphan only one of my kids in another game, Sachi. Oh my god! Yeah, nothing could go wrong with a name like Sachi. <laughs> Go and check his name off you. Aww. That's adorable. I'm just waiting for Lydia to turn around and say, Yeah, it's called Small. <laughs> I'm trying out Sephiroth and just, yeah, basically feel, falls on the rage and speed because I've found, yeah, pretty much. The only thing that I really remember doing with Dissidia was when it first came out on the PSP, and I did a Cloud versus Sephiroth um, fight in the planet in the planet core, and it just looked awesome. I was like, yeah, that's me done. I don't care about this game anymore. Even though I'm small, I'm so happy to be in a friend's game. Aww. Go right. The other side, there's another big box in there. Ah. Is that golden? Wow. And that will be the time to mention in Legends, uh, I just have a, an alpha crowbat named Lydia. Aww. Don't like the fact that they're like that. Really don't. I don't like that one bit. Oh, hey, look, I'm here again. Chasp and Lemd. That looks like something that I can blow. Because they fly higher still and continue left unascended. What? I know, like, and um, we both look pro bats. So if I can have one on my team, I have one. Nice. What she said that was like something I can blow. 
And you know what? Ah. I thought I was actually on the same right thing. <laughs> is Lives of P on the PS5? Yes. Yes, it is. I've streamed it. And I've enjoyed it immensely. PS5, PS4, PC, Xbox, not Switch, I don't think. I, I doubt the Switch is powerful enough. I seriously doubt the Switch is powerful enough to handle it. Oh, it's going all over the place. Yeah. Platforms, PS5, PS4, Mac OS, more. Or, okay, that's just, I'm just going to look at the, um, uh, not in the PS Plus lots, no, but it is very much worth it. It is probably the best um, non from self souls like that I've played. Okay, platforms, PS4, PS5, Windows, Mac, Xbox One, Xbox Series XS. So yeah, no Switch. Is there more, not Morgue? <laughs> and Groll's wanting a two-sentence horror story. My son suffered a long and gruesome death, and afterwards I buried him. Oh, my mistake, it was the other way around. <laughs> good stuff that's um, it's come up. Right back before you, um, and if not, have a good one. Thank you. Um, thank you, Wyatt. Oh, thank you for being here as long as you had. Oh, enjoy your day. Some water weighs 9 pounds or 4.1 kilograms. The arm I have should hold 22 pounds or 10 kilograms, but I've had this dual arm for almost five years, so expensive to join this holding. Ah. Little, little tip, um, uh, Tora. We, um, when you say kilograms, you just, you, uh, you would, at that, you, you would just say 4 kilograms. Mechanical part. I'm going to repair this whole sodding place. You need the S on the end of the shorthand? That's optional. Like, if you have it on, no one's going to really complain or, you know, bring it up. But also, not having it there, no one's really going to give a, um, an issue. The new things? Yes. The metric system. I think the American schools are afraid to teach. Well, I've dealt with this before, so... I should think of kilograms as pounds times two. Really not. It's close, but not... No. The closest one that I'm like that would be um, two centimetres to an inch, and even then that's not exact. Ah, come on. Fifty kilograms is around a hundred pounds. It's hundred and ten. Close, yes, exact. No, if my brain process it works. 
but at least it's you know, at least it's consistent unlike currency mechanical soldier sold that why with the german Version 1. Fully grown male corpse used. Removed heart implanted cadeau. Muscle stimulation via electrical shock was successful. Brain dead, so no high cognitive ability. Only removed by destructible instinct, then stops. All you do is take pounds and divide by 2.2 to get the kilogram. For the kilograms, you multiply by 2.2 to get the pounds. If you don't bet, take all the time. Yeah. Which, you know, would be vastly simpler if everyone just switched to metric. So much easier. Version 1.01. .01. Attached headgear to the cranium. Electrodes to confirm stable brainwaves. Experiment 1, like in fight, was dismantled and eaten within three minutes. Issues with destructive and murderous capabilities. Oh, gods. Right, this isn't exactly what we just as well as some bitch. Fair. Most people like dredge. Yeah, if, that's what you, if that's what you fancy streaming today, Lid, then go for it. Uh, Solar version 1.10. Replace lower part of the arm with drill, not without for effective moves. Need live bodies, perhaps. 22 pounds is really 9.97 kilograms to so just run up. Yeah, that's that's fair. That is, you know, that is standard practice. Because we don't deal with decimal points when it's um, that kind of thing. Like, if it was, like, 9.5, they just say 9.5 kilos. Just saying it's steam. Fair. Hi, Drez. Metrovanias. Kind of. I honestly, I honestly think that if Lydia does play Bird and Malice, it will literally be because I've made it. <laughs> oh, Caden, hello and welcome. Thank you for the hydration reminder. I'm also being assailed by Drez to my, my attention. Depends on the art style. Um, well, Bird of Malice is going to be Ice's um, art style. Four below go to the toe, five or higher go to the sky. There are number things I was taught. I mean, yes, that is how rounding usually works, but... Fair. If it helps you remember it, fair. Art is a huge part of setting a world. Yep. Art style is definitely a very big thing. Like, oh, God, what was it? What was that one I really, really enjoyed playing? I've got to have a look at my, um, my list now. Uh... Where's my coming soon list? It's somewhere in here. Moon Scars. That's it. It's like Moon Scars. That game was really, really dripping in atmosphere. Absolutely loved that game. Speaking of outside, do you hear about the RPG made the desert that made Ori? Absolute same visuals. I have not. I didn't even know that um, they had made an RPG. That's very good. I was so excited for the demo. Hopefully we'll get that out um, before November. Hopefully. If I was one. Nice. Looking forward to the demo. It's called No Rest for the Wicked, if I remember right. Well, look at that. Fun fact, Ori, um, the Ori games is um, what's the, is, uh, the source of inspiration for Ice doing um, Bird of Malice. That's the point. Is, I don't think it is. I really don't think it is, but I will check. Nope. Fuck. Helldivers 1 is not crossplay, so I can't join you in that, Lid. It is also very, very unfairly difficult um, for single player after like the first two mission tiers. 
So you, know, you saw the box there, Best Buy had it had a plush. Aww. Yeah, we got it installed. Fair. He liked bodies, perhaps. Uh, Mechanical Soldier version 1.15. Implied a Kato reactor into the chest. Output greatly increased. Experiment 2 lichen fight. Destroyed three lichens in one minute. Good results, but issues with reactor durability. May stop functioning if the reactor is destroyed. Well, I'm glad it told me about this after I killed one. That would be nice to know beforehand. One of these. Cog mold. I said cog mold, not cock mold. If your cock is moldy, go see a doctor. Urgently. So let's go back here to the casting machine. Yeah. The stream I'm watching doesn't know what cum gutters are. Nor do I. I can take a guess, but I don't know exactly. Oh, why do I get this? Best Buy. Man 2. Ooh. Abs and hip bones. Never heard them called that. Yeah, somewhere recently that I I just had I just was. Into the X bone? What? Oh, Aria. Yeah. I'm going to be on my third and have a huge collection of plushes. And I know at least two people who already have that. They are both in their 30s and have a large plush collection. Nothing to be ashamed of. Yeah, man, grocery store barcode had enough. Yep, Tora is one of them. Oh, this is not good. Oh, Ethan. Such a disappointment. I thought we could join forces against that bitch, Miranda. Truly, truly disappointing. Took on to be her children. She locked us away in the village. Decades of being forced to serve her. Can you even understand? Damn, that humiliation. Sounds like Dr. Neocortex. It's Neil Newborn. Okay, Astarium. I'm not like my siblings. I want nothing more than to be free of that bitch. So I need power. The two power. new ones last week, two. Um, blue from Jurassic World and the Korok. I am unaware of either of those. Mostly because the new Jurassic Parks, I have heavily avoided because Chris Pratt can go fuck himself. Power. The strong will destroy the weak. That's the way of the world. You should have never refused me. Even. Yes. What a freak. Oh, the voice acting. Yeah, Neil Newborn's amazing. It's a very, very amazing voice actor and just a lovely person as well. There's a lot of up to you, any reason you have it? Fair. Yep. 
We on power, please? What's happened, Lid? The newborn wakes up, chooses to be fucking awesome and leaves. I mean, he just generally is awesome. In all ways, consistently. Trying to see if Hitman 2 works with the controller. His controller's actually the PS5. Not PC. <laughs> oh, it happens. Jesus, okay. Are you going over the top there with the door seals? Yeah, alright, alright, that's what you want. That's what you want me to do, sure, sure. me or in this light does he not have he's not yet i think he just got his left hand yo laying idle by his side yeah uh, also two and a half hours there's no sign of a save point nearby i'm guessing that's the environmental thing Positive result. Four shotgun shells used, three dead. Yeah, I'll go by with that. Fine with that. Mine. Okay, you have two. And no weak spots. On your back. Really? Really? Oh. Ah. Uh, uh. I thought that was going to be just a way to came down easy, not the required way. Oh, odds. Chainsaw arms, it's chainsaw man. Drills, but still, I mean, like, yeah. I need to find a save point, I really do. Denji looking good? I have no idea who Denji is. Gonna take me into no, who knows? Who freaking knows? This is already a lot bigger than um, any of the previous places were. The main MC of Chainsaw Man also is Chainsaw Man. Ah, that would explain why I don't know it. Message. 
if I'm hungry for an anime recommend if you have the time. I do not. Then, yeah, to give context, I have been trying to watch ReZero for three years. Three years. And I've gotten to episode seven. Is it seven? Might actually be less than that. Let me have a look. I have this on a di I have this on a notepad on my desktop. Here we are. Oh no! I'm episode thirteen, season one, episode thirteen of ReZero. For you, sorry. Don't worry about it, Ice. I don't. I don't mind being pinged. The only ones that I um I mute is when it's um a um a DM conversation between people in a group chat I'm in, but the conversation is not part of anything to do with me. Shit, it's time to ask us to, uh, be ice. Although I always personally for, prefer to say skilled rather than talent, because talent infers that you know you're just you just happen to be that good, just you know, you're born that way. Whereas skill shows you know you've worked at it. Don't know who Malcus talking about the sibling chat. A couple of days ago, yes, it was. <laughs> Today, not so much. I'd say a couple of days ago, four days ago. Come on, I can't. Oh, for the love of fuck! Oh, we. Oh. No, no, this is. This is sending into very unfun things. I'm just leaving. I'm just gonna leave. Oh, really? Gonna leave. You again? Oh, right, right. Well, that was a very short chase sequence. Back out here. Please tell me Duke had a had a um, thing in his a, a save point in the elevator. Oh, I see. I can't. All right. Welcome, welcome. Oh, he does. You're sure to find something new. My brain just translates talent and skill into this person's good. So, so I do see a difference. Yeah. Like I was told um, uh, one day by someone um, who's an artist that said that talented makes it sound that they didn't have to work and uh, practice, and I don't want to make anyone feel like that. Are you combine? Oh, okay. I thought that was actually going to be a, like a long puzzle thing, but no, apparently not. Hard times, hey. Ethan. What do you mean hard times? I'm selling you treasure. Shut them. Shut them up and fuck them. Give them to not available on Steam anymore. Weird. But I bet I know somewhere it will be. I bet I know where you can get it. I know you already. I know, probably know you probably already have it, um, Lydia. But I know I pretty much show sure where I can find it.
Yep, Hitman 2 Silent Assassin on GOG for $1.79. I mean, it's currently on an 80% off sale, but its base price is $9. You have it open, you're just looking for the DLC stuff. Ah, let's have a look. Uh, um, that's not how rating works. You don't, you don't call something middle of the road, then give it four out of five. That's, that's not how, that's not how maths. Uh, it doesn't seem to advertise any DLC. Oh my good god, Urban Chaos. That's a blast from the past. GOG for the save. Yep. Oh well, yeah. Um, Epic might? Epic might have it? Ugh. All right. Let's upgrade. One moment, please. My piss stolen. Don't really need the rate of fire, or I don't actually really need any of those. I can, you know, low priority. That, that, that. Reload speed. Uh, uh, don't really know. Don't really need those. Uh, don't really know those. It's uh. so my GM rating. It's probably middle of the road overall. Skip four out of five. I mean, it's better than IGN used to be. IGN was, it's not Halo, 1 out of 10. It's baffling how a game as big as Hitman 2 could just vanish from Steam. I mean, it's old. It's very old. Could be a number of reasons. Like, it could be a, that it just doesn't work anymore, so they're taking it off. Or they've lost the rights to sell it. Could increase the power of the Magnum. That would be hilarious. I'm doing that. Aha! I don't have the money to do anything else. Food is life. Oh, it's the cylinder. Look at the sniper rifle ammo I'm carrying around. 47 sniper rifle rounds. I'm never going to use all that. I thought it was still recent. That's, it's, that's not the one. Two thousand and two, Hitman Two is a twenty-two-year-old game. They recently remade the and rebooted the Hitman trilogy, and Hitman Two from that is twenty eighteen. Silent Assassin is two thousand and two. I was sixteen. Now you feel old. That was my last year of school. That was my last year of school, Liz, so I know exactly how you feel. Well, mandatory education school anyway. I say that as if, you know, like... I've got a high level of education. I fucking don't. Hmm. Please come again. Oh, I am wondering now. Education is education. Eh, it depends. Like, I would not say I'm well educated. Which, you know, is wholly different to not being smart. I'm not well educated, but I am smart. Didn't you get G five GCSEs? Um, I got eleven. If you count, if you count GCSEs where I got a C or above, I got, f I had four. If you count them all as ones that passed, eleven. It's not seen the DLC has gone too. That is really awful. I don't know why. So let's have a look on um, Epic. Let's have a look on Epic, mostly because you know I'm going to be closing down um, stream now because. 
I've got I've got 20 minutes or less to um, do stuff, and I don't feel like I can do appropriate stuff and get back to a save point. Especially with them being a bit bullshitty with the new enemy type. Um, I don't know. It does not appear to be on um, Epic at all, either. Well... All things with Hitman. Hitman 3, Hitman World of Assassination, 3 Trinity, 3 Deluxe, this AO6 World of Assassins, it's all DLC, but it's literally just Hitman 3 and World of Assassination. It's all that's on Epic. That's odd. It's probably there's an issue with IO Interactive. Because I at last I checked, they are still yeah they are still marked as the creators of the original Hitman Two: Silent Assassin. Meanwhile, Assassination is all them pushed into one. I don't think it's the very original ones. Um... Yeah, World of Assassination gives you the, um, the trilogy of Hitman 1, 2, and 3, but that's the reboot by the looks of it, not the original one. Yeah, that's what World Assassination is. It's the re it's the reboot trilogy. Yeah, Fifty wasn't broke. It's also a live service game. They changed World of Assassination to basically have the entire um, reboot trilogy into a live service. Huh. Weird, when I look at it on the Steam page on um, my browser, it's showing it as viable for $9. But no DLC is listed. Yeah, there's no DLC on this whatsoever. You're looking at the one just this is Hitman 2. Oh, the the 2018 one. Yeah. If you're looking if you're looking at the original um Hitman 2, Silent Assassin from 2002, that's still there for cheap. But if you're looking at Hitman 2, the 2018 one, that got delisted as well as the first one, and then they released World of Assassinations. And then yeah. World of Assassination is all three games into one, but you can no longer buy the first two individually. Because money grabbing fuckwads. Wanting to promote a um, a live service. That sucks. It does. It very much does suck. Because uh, live service. <clears throat> World of Assassination is on cheap. That would, that, that would get you three games in one. That does get you three games in one. But it's also, yeah, the live service bollocks. And I hear a lot of bad stuff about Hitman 3 from that. But then again, we're talking about the person who the only Hitman game I've been able to play and actually complete was Absolution which is almost universally regarded as the worst one of the entire um, series, so much so that people don't even count it as a Hitman game. Uh, I, need, I need to go and double check that I actually saved. I can't remember if I did or not. That would have been bad. 14.34.48. And that was six minutes ago, so I probably did recently, but you know, just to be safe. <coughs> That's... that's changed. That's darker. The whole sky and that is darker now. Ooh. Oh, that's a, ni that's a nice little change. I like it when they do that. When they change the title screen based on your progress and what you've done. That's nice. 
Just going through the perfectly normal fishing game. Fair. Entirely fair. It always found Hitman to be really good, fun stealth action with so much replayability. I can never get into the stealth act aspect of it. I never could. I've tried recently with some with um going back to some of the ones. I just can't do the stealth. I don't know why, but I just cannot do the stealth in it. Absolution worked for me. I don't know why. But I'm guessing that the reasons why people were saying it's not a Hitman game is all the reasons that I actually gelled with it. <clears throat> um But again, you also you've also all seen me play Thief. Or at least you've seen me play the original Thief and how I'm not great at stealth in that. And yet Thief 4, which people generally don't count as a Thief game, I finished the entire game on the maximum difficulty level without being spotted once. So clearly I can do stealth in certain games. Not in all of them, though. Ah. Uh. You like Hitman 2 because it leaves you like 30 bodies into a ball. <laughs> Oh, God. I've got to say to you, Lydia, you need to drain it afterwards because you've got, you've got to let the bodies hit the floor. <laughs> I'll there's no witnesses left, so... Nah. It, depend it just depends on the game for me. Like, the, the, that playthrough I mentioned on doing Thief 4, that was also with no kills. No kills, and I think also no knockouts. I can't remember if it was all no it was no knockouts, but it definitely was no kills. So no kills, no um spottings, and it probably was no knockouts. And that was um hell. But I did it. I got platinum. Never had to touch that game again. You've got Dredge got DLC recently. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I also, oh yeah, also, um, <laughs> for me being on hiatus, I thought, you know what? I'm going to use this hiatus so that when I'm doing gaming, if I'm stuck for something to play, I, um, I put a list of all of my PS4 and PS5 games that I wanted to finish, um, that I'd either started on stream or, you know, gotten partway through. And, uh, there's a very long list. That is a very long, very, very long list. Um, 47. 47 games. Which, to be fair, was nowhere near as much as I thought there was going to be, but it did start off with stuff like LEGO DC Supervillains and Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song. Games to finish and get platinum on. And I realised I need to do platinum all, all completely again on Swan Song. And the problem with Swan Song is that it doesn't do chapter select properly, so you effectively need to go through the game multiple times and do multiple things, and it's, uh, it's, a, it's a bit tricky. It's a bit, it's a bit of a time sink. But it's a good game. Uh, do DLC later, drop time to dream about my Steam. <laughs> and Ride love the uh, Dredge DLC. I remember um, you mentioning it, Ride. You mentioned it. I remember you saying this, um, you had a little fun with it. Uh, did I actually close that? I did, yes. But yeah, so that's where I'm going to be ending things for now. Thank you all very much for coming along for your support. It's all greatly appreciated in whatever way you chose to show it. Next stream for me is going to be tomorrow night at 9pm EST, which is 1am GMT, where I'm going to be doing the final Fortnite stream. And then after that, it is going to be a case of either on Wednesday or next Wednesday, I'm going to do a stream of Ace Attorney with Callie. And then it's going to be back, then it's going to be to, I will just be doing Horror Mondays every week. Um, aside from that, I will be officially on streaming hiatus uh, for I don't know how long. It is going to be quite a long time. Um, um, and I will come back and do the, um, the streaming of uh, the near raids from Final Fantasy XIV when I get my character up to them. Which hopefully won't take too long because they come along at the end of the Shadowbringers expansion and it's part of the post pack post expansion content it's like immediately available and i am i believe very close to getting to the stormblood post expansion content so it's finish off stormblood finish the, pa the patch content then finish shadowbringers and then i'm there so should be okay um yeah you'll get to, you'll you'll also get to see something i don't think you've actually seen from me yet you'll get to see me heal you get to see me play as a healer because 
watching the Final Fantasy XIV um, streams, you'll see me being, being a tank, and I'm at my most comfortable when I'm a tank. DPS is when I want to just unplug my brain, unless I'm playing Black Mage. But healer, no one's seen me play healer. So that'll be interesting when it comes around. And hopefully I won't die. I will, I'll be reading up on some raid guides beforehand to make sure that I remember how to fight this because I have not done the near raids in so long. Which is a shame because they're really good. And I'm also going to be boosting the music a bit because it's, it's a near game. Of course the music needs to be a prominent feature. Um, but yeah, I don't believe that Lydia is going to be starting stream immediately because it's you know, she's still got like 15 minutes before she normally does. Um, oh no, no, she has started. No, right, cool. Um, case. Yeah, well, we'll go and raid Lid. And there we go, the raid message is in there. Yep, go give um, our love and support to Lydia. And until next time, thank you all very much for coming along for your support. It's all greatly appreciated in whatever way you're trying to show it. And I will see you next time. Until then, have yourselves a good rest of your day, a good evening, a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Well, the time is for you. Till then, though, stay safe, stay amazing, and see you later. Raid!